Elementor and WP Bakery are two of the most well-known page builders out there. And despite some major differences in their design and operation, many website owners have a hard time choosing between the two. In this video, we'll make a quick comparison between the Elementor and WP Bakery page builders. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so you don't miss out on great content related to WordPress and WooCommerce. The Elementor page builder separates its layout into an editing area and sidebar that holds both widgets and their respective options. Though this means you have a smaller editing area, it's not obstructed by any pop-ups as everything else is tucked neatly to the side. On the other hand, the WP Bakery page builder's front end has a slightly cleaner layout made up of a huge editing area and a toolbar at the top. However, you'll have to deal with pop-ups that cover part of the screen and need to be moved depending on the part of the page you're editing. Moreover, the page builder also has a back-end editor which you might need to use to make adjustments from time to time. And even though you can switch between the front-end and back-end editors with a single click, it can still become a hassle for some users. Despite the different layouts, both page builders structure content into rows, columns, and blocks. Though Elementor calls blocks as widgets, and WP Bakery calls them elements. This is how the rows, columns, and blocks look like in Elementor. And the rows, columns, and blocks look like this in the WP Bakery page builder. Elementor offers a long list of free and premium blocks to help you build any page you want. Moreover, plugins like WooCommerce and Essential Add-ons for Elementor add even more amazing blocks for building your page. WP Bakery also offers a wide range of useful blocks by default, with everything from images and text to Google Maps and pie charts. And you can add custom elements too using add-ons like Elegant Elements for WP Bakery Page Builder. You can also choose from more than 85 page templates to speed up your page building process. All templates can be imported with a click and are fully editable. On the other hand, Elementor offers two types of free and pro editable templates. Page templates and block templates. While you can import an entire pre-built page using page templates. Block templates can be used to build a professional page one section at a time. Let's try adding an image on a blank page with both page builders. To start building with Elementor, click on the plus icon and select the structure of the section you want. With the entire section selected, you can now customize it. In the layout part of the edit section, we can determine the layout parameters like width, gap, height, and vertical align. In the style tab, we can add different types of backgrounds like classic, gradient, video, and slideshow. Let's add a yellow colored classic background. You can also add a background overlay, border, shape divider, and topography settings. The advanced section gives you margin and padding settings, motion effects, responsive options, attributes, and custom CSS features. We can now start adding widgets to the columns. Click on this icon on the top right to go back to the widgets area. Let's add an image to the right column. We can customize the image using these three tabs. Click on the Choose Image option and upload the image from your computer. Below, you can set the image's alignment inside its column. Then, add a caption and link using these options. Next, go to the Style tab and change the width, height, and opacity settings for the image. You can add a border to the image by selecting the border style, width, color, and radius. In the Advanced tab, you can determine the image's margin and padding, and add motion effects among other customizations.
Now, let's add an image with WP Bakery. Click the Add Element button. Then select Single Image. A pop-up shows us all the options available for the image. If you're using the element in your widget area, you can set a widget title here. Select the image source from the drop-down. And click the plus icon. Let's add a caption to the image. And click set image. Below, we have the option to determine the image size. You can either simply type the image sizes like thumbnail, medium, large, full, and other sizes defined by the theme. Or you can type the size in pixels. We want the image to be large. Click save changes to see the changes on the page. You can choose to display the image caption with this option. And select the image alignment on the page. You can also choose some simple image style from the drop-down. And decide what happens when a visitor clicks the image. We want a full-sized image, that will open in a new window. We can use the CSS animation option to add some motion to the image. We can select the animation from the drop-down and view the animation here. Then click Save Changes to view the final effect on the image. The image settings pop-up has a design options tab as well. Here, we can assign the width for the padding, border, and margin of the image. Elementor offers five premium plans ranging from $49 to $999 depending on the number of websites you want to build. However, the free version with 40 plus basic widgets and 30 plus templates is plenty to get started on. If you need help, you can use the Help Center, FAQs, video tutorials, and an active community as well. Pro users also get premium 24-7 support. WP Bakery Page Builder has two one-time payment licenses of $45 and $245 for a single site and SaaS application respectively. WP Bakery Page Builder comes with extensive documentation and tutorials to help you get started and you open an online support ticket if you have any questions. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.